Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to shows every Thursday at 8.01 p.m. and full shows online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. This is Cinema Classics. It is. We're talking biopics. Biopics. I used to pronounce it biopics. <laughs> I don't think so. That's for ophthalmologists. Biopics. <laughs> it, it makes sense to me. You say biography. You don't yeah. say biography. <laughs> Right? You say biopsy. You don't say biopsy. You're asking me? I'm just, I'm just. I say, I'm going to start, I'm saying biopic. <laughs> anyway, the biography pictures mm -hmm. that we're talking just about. Just prove my point by saying <laughs> the word biography. Okay. Right? And we're, I was stimulated by the recent uh, Tolkien. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, and that's why we're kind of looking at this because uh, a, a solid, not great, biopic mm -hmm. of J.R.R. Tolkien. Mm -hmm. um, was he interesting? Uh, it was. He and his buddies who had kind of a dead poet society mm -hmm. uh, and then off to war. It wasn't bad. It was interesting. It doesn't get to the heart of his inspiration even though it ham-handedly tries. Mm -hmm. For instance, he's in the trenches in World War One. Always yeah. a depressing sequence in right. anybody's movie. Yes. Uh, Never been a happy right. World War and One. flamethrowers are coming and then he visualizes a dragon. You know, come on. Oh, okay. Brother. Anyway, anyway. So biopic. So, <clears throat> and recently, we had Bohemian uh, Rhapsody. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we're into that. We're kind of into it. So here's what's interesting to me about the biopic. Yes. Is there's a fine line? I think this is where we always get in this. Like, right? This doesn't really fit. <laughs> is this really a biopic? Oh, right. You know. Because I'm, I, I was looking at a list okay. of, of biopics, you know, yeah. uh, of great ones. And now here's something like Ali or Ray, okay? Okay. Now those are quintessential biopics. Yeah. They tell the story of a person's life. Yes. And what makes them special, what they achieved, what they accomplished, right? Sometimes it takes you all the way up to their death or to the end of their life, whatever. It's like a movie that are like... A movie though, like the Moneyball is on this list. Yeah, that's not a biopic. Well, you know, you know what the, I mean? it tells a true story. Just because it's a true story doesn't mean it's a biopic. That's my distinction. All that's right. all. I'm willing to accept parts of a person's life still being a biopic. I'm willing to ex accept the fact that it's dramatized. Mm -hmm. It may be fictional, but it right. keeps the spirit. Of that I, I think of the three for Vincent Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Starting with Kirk Douglas and yes, Lust for Life. Lust for Life, yeah. Uh, then recently, uh, Loving Vincent, that mm -hmm. beautiful little yeah. cartoon. And also the At Eternity's Gate with Willem Dafoe. Okay. It's three on Van Gogh. And there are three parts, almost three different looks at the life. So are, is that what we're talking about, that you're, you yeah, want I'm a saying, pure I'm form? I'm saying there's, there's sometimes, you know, like, okay, here's on this list, JFK. Yeah. Oliver Stone's JFK. Yeah. Uh, obviously not a. It's a, more about the assassination and. and That's uh, right. Uh, but it, it that is not a biopic to me. That is a just a look back at an historical event. I right. Think, I think you're right. I would so agree. Yeah. now I agree that a biopic doesn't necessarily have to look at at the figure's entire life, like Lust for Life yes, or, right, right. or one of these Vincent Van Gogh movies. It doesn't need to do that. Now your favorite movie, Yankee Doodle Yankee Dandy. Yankee Doodle Dandy is. By definition, quintessential biopic, right? Right. Shows shows him as a young kid, yep. how he gets inspired, yep. his career, blah blah All blah. All the way through That's his a, yeah his uh, Medal of Honor, classic from, biopic. Yeah, uh, George um, M. Cohen. So now a movie like Lawrence of Arabia. How about that? I was going to ask you what you thought about I that. Love, well, you know, I love that yes, movie. Yes. Yes. That does seem like a biopic because not only is it looking at this historical chapter through the lens of this one man's life and accomplishments. Mm -hmm. But it just takes the most significant portion of his of his life, you know, his you you definitely see an arc there, right? Okay. As he begins, you know, as he's transformed by yeah. his his narcissism and his uh you know, the the life in the desert. Yeah. And <clears throat> so, I do see that as a biopic even though the scope of it is Okay. In his entire well, life, rather narrow. You made a good point. I mean, the JFK is really about the, uh, really about the assassination, not about his life. And I, yeah, I, and I the Warren, agree. the Warren report, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But so, so I think you make a really good point. Now, you, 
Uh, if you take a look at going way back to Spartacus. Mm -hmm. Now see, is that really a, yeah, I don't know, is that a biopic? Yeah, 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 that, that, it's, it's a part of his life. Okay. And Ed Wood is pretty much a biopic, don't you think? Ed Wood? Yeah. Yeah, in, yeah, I guess so. In it, it, the, the same way that Lawrence of Arabia is, yes, right? We yeah, jump in yeah. midstream in his life, yeah. and we see the, the most definitive part right, of his that's career. Right, right, just as you would for Social Network. Yeah. Okay, uh, you're, so, yeah, you're I jumping. I, I don't even see that as a biopic as much as I see it uh, an examination of a person who started this thing. Yeah, yeah well, that's a good point. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. more about... It's true, and it doesn't really... It is about that character, but I, yeah, I, it's too narrow a slice of that guy's and, life. And, and too broad a look at Facebook and all of that. Yes, right. right. I mean, that's like the assassination uh, example that you used. It's a, a more about the social network. That's the title. Right, and the kind of person who might... <clears throat> develop that. Yeah. One of my favorites, I'm not sure you even saw it, was La Vie en Rose. Oh, uh, but the he, Edith, Edith Piaf. You bet, yeah. Uh, and I love that. I thought that emotionally got to uh, Edith Piaf in a way that I had rarely seen in biopics. Okay. And that's her career and her decline. Marion Cotillard. Uh, yes. She won oh, an Oscar yeah, yeah. I fell in love with her in that role. Oh, she was great. Um, you're one of your favorites, and uh, we were going to feature it here, but we don't have a photo of it. We have Yankee. No, I, I, I defer to your favorite. <laughs> is Raging Bull? Is that a biopic? Good question. <clears throat> I thought you'd jump right away and say it was. Uh, you know, I guess I guess it is. I guess it is a biopic. Yeah, there's enough. There is enough uh, scope of Jake LaMotta's life, yeah. and career, yeah. at his personal life, his professional life, and then the just the overarching um, transformation, uh, you know, from something, from his bestial nature to uh, something more human. And and were you initially pausing because you were thinking it was more about boxing than about... No, no, not at all. It's definitely not about boxing. Okay. It's definitely about that guy. Boxing is, serves to show you, like, you know... Uh, the way he takes his anger out, the way he punishes himself for, you know, personal crimes. Um, so boxing functions as a nice little, as a metaphor for, you know, yeah. uh, psychological okay. struggle. Right. Uh, as well as demonstrating his prowess in the ring. You know, the, the film is so brilliant that, in fact, it does comment on boxing while it looks at Jake mm -hmm. very closely, mm -hmm. very personal life. Yeah, so that's, sure. that's a great example. Um, Here's a question for you. Yes. Schindler's List. <laughs> yes. Is that a biopic? It's a small segment of a man's larger life and where he does the heroic business with uh, the prisoners uh, of, of uh, the, 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 the Jews yeah. and, and the Holocaust. And yeah, I think so. But, you know, once again, you're in, you've, you've brought up a territory where there's a much larger business going on here. Exactly. You're looking at a larger event yes. through the lens of this one. Should you get that? Is I that, should. I should. I that, should have uh, put it on. Is that Mr. Yeah. Rogers? <laughs> no. I, I should have. <laughs> John's phone is ringing. Uh, go ahead. So, everyone, Schindler's list. Back to Schindler. Oh, now I can talk. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah um, I don't see it as a biopic, only because of what you just said, right? We're looking at this huge historical yes. event, yes. and we're, and really, we're just looking at it. Spielberg is using Schindl Oscar Schindler's participation there, right? His, his heroic, yes, his heroism, right. as a lens to look at the, right. the larger thing happening. So I don't think that that actually counts as a biopic. Now, would you make the same with the same director, with Lincoln? As you remember, Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, or is that really somewhere in between on there? Yeah, see, I think you'd, to come up with a full biopic of Lincoln, you'd have to smash a couple of movies together. <laughs> yes, young Mr. Lincoln, Lincoln yes. John Ford's Young Mr. Right, Lincoln. Right, right, um, right. Definitely Spielberg's Lincoln. Right. Yeah, uh, I think it does count as a biopic because it so closely examines that historical figure during that crucial time, right? It doesn't take into account his full life Right, uh, but the that 
that narrow scope does fall into biopic right. territory. Right. And you, and and we don't need that film if you go like me on a strange train to a decaying town and you have Abraham Lincoln talking about his life on that train. Well, you had Lincoln as a tour guide <laughs> yes. on a recent uh, <laughs> yes. Stove, rail trip. Yes, stove, pipe, hat, and all. Okay. <laughs> we got it. Anyway, our discussion has stimulated my interest again. I do like biopics. Yeah. Uh, I, because I think that they're historical and and they they fix somebody in my mind. That's the fun part about having these conversations and not planning them. Because yeah. I didn't really have a definition of biopic until we sat down yes. to talk about it. And now that I think about it, you know, I do like the ones that have a more traditional narrative arc to them. In other words, I don't necessarily have to see the, the figure as a child and growing into a young right, person, right. then a you know, and then an adult, and blah blah blah. Like I think stuff like Schindler's List, Lawrence of Arabia, using these historical events to get yes. at um, something more about all of us as a human being is thank you is pretty cool. Yeah, nicely said. I'm anticipating, waiting for. I'm going to play you in your body. <laughs> thank you. Well, but, and I and I'm wondering who is going to play Donald Trump. Because that's coming. That will be a biopic. Yeah, you think? And we'll do it. <laughs> Not going to be Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Thank you.